So today I'm going to be walking you through an alternator replacement video for this 2009 Hyundai Elantra. Let's check it out. Alright, and first thing we're going to do, go ahead and disconnect that negative battery cable. Then we're just going to slightly lift the car. That way it'll be a little bit easier to get up under here in just a second. And then here is our alternator. And first, just go ahead and disconnect this connector right here. It's a squeeze right there. Come on, lighten up for me. Lighten up, there we go. Oh, you can see my thumb squeeze, pull, and then we'll have this guy right here. Um, you'll just move that boot out the way, and that's probably like a 12 or a 13 millimeter nut. And then we'll take that off. And then you're gonna loosen up, this is a 12, and then we're gonna go to the bottom. And don't worry, it'll get dark again here. And now we're gonna be looking at our alternator. This is where you're gonna remove the nuts. And you can see right there, let's turn the light up, yeah. So it's just a stud and a nut. So that's a 12 millimeter also. So go ahead and take that nut off and then we'll be able to remove the belt. And to remove the belt, we've also got, check it out, another 12. And let's lighten this up a little bit. There we go. And the 12 is gonna be right here at the end of my finger. It's like an adjuster. And this is left, loosens the belt. And then, once you've got it loosened up, I just took a little bit of a pry bar here, stuck it in here, got on the alternator, and then pulled towards me. And then you'll loosen up your belt. You can see here, the belt's loosened. So then, once we loosen that up enough, we'll be able to just slide the belt off. And then I'll finish taking this bolt out and we'll look at that here in a second. All right, and now, once you've removed the bolt on the adjuster all the way, we're just gonna come down here. We're gonna push this guy all the way forward. And of course, you slid in your belt off. And now, we can see our stud down there, and I've actually tapped it all the way in, but right there at the end of my finger, you can see the other side of the stud. And what I did is I took a ratchet, stuck it down in here. I'll show you the ratchet. I just took my ratchet, stuck it, right down in here like so hopefully it's light you can see and then I just kind of tapped it like that to tap it through and then hopefully I'll be able to reach around here with my hands and just kind of pull this stud out if not I might have to take a flat screwdriver or something kind of pry it out a little bit but then I should be taking out the alternator here in just a second okay so I finally got her out as you can see um, she is gone and this, the stud actually sets on that, so once you loosen up, you should be able to pick the alternator up and off without having to pull that stud all the way out. So you can disregard taking that um, dust cover off. But there's another dust cover that sits right here. It's two 10 millimeters. We'll take a look at it. You're gonna need to pull that down, and then your oil filter as well. And yes, I have quite an oily mess. Oh well. Um, so anyways, it's this one right here. You got a 10 right there. And I think it's a 10 right here. And just go ahead and drop that. And then your oil filter will be sitting right there. Go ahead and take your oil filter off as well. And then the alternator will just come out through the bottom. It clears real easy. So that's it. The installation is reverse and removal.